Hi friends, I'm Laura and this is Lalo Yoga and Wellness. I have a special practice for today. It is a solstice practice as we are near that midpoint of the year. So our focus is going to be on sun salutations and moon salutations. We're gonna start in a standing position today, a little bit different than normal. Let's go ahead and come up to the top of our mat. Big toes together, a little space between the heels. I want you to give just a gentle nudge forward through the hips, slightly squeezing those glutes. All we're doing here is unloading the back, so you don't want to over-exaggerate it, but just let yourself come to that nice, strong spine. Let's take a big roll up, back, and down through the shoulders, palms facing forward. We're just going to stand in this mountain pose for a moment and take a quick check into our bodies. So seeing how we're feeling here, checking if we've got any joints that are tight and locked out, letting them relax, finding our breath, taking a strong, steady gaze straight ahead. Or if you want a little challenge for your balance, you can let your eyes softly close, that works too. yourself one more nice big deep breath right here and on your next deep breath let's sweep the arms out and up toward the sky exhale let the arms sweep down hinge from the hips we're reaching toward the toes now we're not that warm yet so maybe you're just reaching as far as the shins maybe you can go a little deeper we let the head hang as we come into this forward fold nice and long through the spine your gaze is toward your knees we're going to tent our fingers on the front of the shin and lift the upper body until it is parallel to the floor for a halfway lift Lengthen out through the spine, check in to the neck, so we've got some space between the shoulders and ears. Take a deep breath, lengthen out, exhale, move into that forward fold. Inhale, just let the arms dangle and slowly roll up, one vertebra at a time. Find that little squeeze in the glutes, gently push the hips forward, shoulders roll up, back and down once again finding ourselves in mountain pose. <clears throat> Let's take a deep breath, reaching out and up, volcano. A little bit of a back bend here. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale and reach. Exhale, reach the right hand back, left hand forward for a standing twist, looking over those back fingertips. Hips are working toward the front. Inhale, sweep the right hand down, face front, pick up that left hand, exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale and reach. Exhale, taking your twist onto the other side. Always an option to bring the hands to heart center right here if that feels more comfortable for your shoulders. Working those hips forward. Inhale, sweep the left hand down and up. Lace the fingers together, exhale. Take a little standing crescent moon. Inhale and lift. Exhale, crescent moon to the other side. Inhale and lift. Release the hands, standing twist. Right hand reaches back. Pause here for one breath. Inhale, sweep the right hand down and up. Pick up that left hand. Lace the fingers, crescent moon. Bringing the ribs closer to your hips. Inhale and lift. Exhale to the other side. Inhale and lift. Exhale, standing twist. Reaching the left hand back. Hips face forward. Arms are at shoulder line. Inhale, sweep the left hand down and up. One more time, lace those hands. Exhale, crescent moon. Taking it to the other side. Inhale and lift, bringing those hands down to heart center. Maintain that arrow mudra. Inhale, upward salute, scoop down, then right back up. Exhale, release the hands, sweeping down into a forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift, tenting your fingers on the front of the shins. Exhale, plant your hands on your mat, bring your knees right underneath your hips. Fingers are spread nice and wide, tabletop, lengthen out through the spine. Inhale, lift the gaze, let the belly drop, lift the hips toward the ceiling. Exhale, scoop the hips under, round the spine, tuck the chin, looking toward your thighs. Inhale, table. Exhale, down dog. Tuck the toes under, lift the hips high. We're just going to pause here for a moment. You can pedal out the legs. Lengthen out your arms and spine. Come up on all ten toes. Exhale, let the heels drift toward the floor and let your shoulder blades slide toward your hips and away from your spine to get a little space in your neck. Lift your gaze toward the top of the mat. Inhale, start to walk toward the top. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep out and up. Find that volcano, a little squeeze in the glutes. Exhale, hands coming to heart center. Take a breath. One more sun salutation. Inhale, upward salute. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come to the mat. You can step into your table or come into a plank position, maybe on your toes or your knees, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra or full cobra, maybe up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips high, downward facing dog. Let's take one big breath in and out right here. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way out and up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Feeling a little bit warmer now. We've said hello to the sun. Now it's time to say hello to the moon. Move to the top of your mat, facing the long edge of your mat. Let's take a deep breath. Find that arrow mudra. Exhale toward the inside of the mat. Crescent. Inhale. Exhale towards the outer edge of the mat. Inhale. Exhale, step toward the center of your mat and come into a goddess squat. Chest is nice and tall. Inhale, stretch the arms out long. Exhale, turn the toes toward the back of the mat and reaching down toward either the shin or the floor, coming into a triangle pose. Let's open the shoulder toward the ceiling. Exhale, turning the chest toward the toes, pyramid pose. Maybe you bring the head down a little bit lower. That's up to you. You're gonna plant those hands, pivot the back foot, and drop down into a low lunge. Find your arrow mudra. Little bit of a back bend here, pushing your hip forward, keep the back safe. Exhale, both hands come to the inside of that back foot and turn and face the long edge of your mat to come into a surfer's lunge. Option if you want, you could be in a high lunge. That's up to you. Shift your weight toward the front of the mat and find your surfer's lunge on this side. You can challenge your balance if you'd like, bring the hands up. Maybe you're keeping the hands here for a little bit of extra stability. It's up to you. Turn towards the top of your mat. We're gonna drop that back knee, find your low lunge. Lifting back up with your arrow mudra. Exhale, hands come and frame that front foot. Tuck your toes under, straighten out your front leg to come into your pyramid pose. Back foot is at an angle. You just bring that chest as low as you feel comfortable with. Same hand as the forward foot comes to the shin. We turn and open into triangle. Maybe you reach a little lower. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you're using a block. Open the shoulder nice and big. 
engaging your core, let's lift and face the long edge of the mat. Arms reaching out to the side. Goddess squat. Inhale and lift. Push toward the back of your mat. Lace those fingers together. Exhale toward the outer. Inhale, center. Exhale toward the front. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Let's take one full breath in and out right here. Should be standing near the back edge of your mat. Inhale, let's take those fingers right back up. Exhale toward the top of the mat, the inner part of your mat. Inhale and lift. Exhale toward the outer edge of your mat. Inhale and lift. Release the hands. Step out nice and wide. Toes out, heels in. Goddess squat. Inhale, lengthen out the arms here. Triangle pose. Reaching for the front shin. Top hand reaching high. Open up through the shoulder for that triangle pose. Exhale and turn the front toes toward the top of the mat, coming into pyramid, dropping as low as you feel comfortable with, maintaining a long front leg without locking out the knee. Hands come down, frame that front foot, pivot your back foot, coming into your low lunge, arrow mudra, sink in. And breathe, opening up the hips. Exhale, both hands come to the inside of that forward foot. Tuck the back toes under and find your surfer's lunge. It's always an option to be in a high lunge if that's more comfortable for you. You find what works for you. Shift your weight to the center and toward the back of the mat. Balance challenge if you want it. And turn and face the back of the mat, low lunge. Hero mudra, lift the chest. Exhale, let the hands come down, frame that front foot. Tuck your back toes under, slight angle of the back foot, finding your pyramid pose, lengthen out the front leg, drop as low as you feel comfortable with. And on top of that back leg shin, we're gonna open up toward the ceiling, coming into your triangle pose. Open the shoulders as much as possible. And turn toward the long edge of your mat. Goddess squat. Inhale, lift, push towards the top of your mat. Lace those fingers together. Exhale toward the inside. Inhale, center. Exhale to the outside of the mat. Inhale to center. Hands coming to heart center. Nice work. Reach the hands high. Come into a chair pose. Drop down onto your right knee. And then the left. Facing the top of your mat. Let your hands rest on the back side, lifting the chest, camel pose. Maybe you're reaching your hands down towards your heels, maybe with your toes tucked. You decide which feels best for you. Level out your gaze. Swing the feet to the left, hands to the right. Whew, wipe away some of that sweat. Let's plant the feet flat on the floor <clears throat> and start to roll it down one vertebra at a time, hands resting on the floor. Bringing your heels now so they're right underneath your knees, your palms are facing down. Scoop your hips until you feel your lower back connecting to the mat. And then slowly begin to peel your vertebrae off the ground, maybe lifting your head a little bit so it doesn't drag on the mat. And we come into a hip bridge 
and slowly lower down one vertebra at a time, that bridge between the longest days, moving again towards shorter daylight. Inhale, scoop the hips, hip bridge once again, pause at the top, lowering back down. Just bring your knees into your chest, Easy rock side to side, letting the floor just relax your back a little bit. And let's draw some big circles with your knees in one direction. Pause anywhere that you feel like your back might want a little extra release. And then take the knees around the other way. Let's bring those knees to the center. Dropping your feet down to the edges of your mat, hands go wide like the letter T. And we just windshield wiper gently side to side. And let the knees stay facing to the left. Making sure both shoulder blades stay on the ground. Option to take your left heel on the outside of your right knee, deep in the stretch. You can go for more of a twist if you want. Look over the right fingertips. If your head is turned, bring it back to neutral. If you have the heel on the outside of the right knee, take it off. Let's bring the knees back up to the center and take that windshield wiper side to side. Loosening the back, a little hip mobility. This time letting our knees stay on the right side. If you want, you have that same option, right heel on the outside of the left knee. Turning the head if you'd like, just make sure both shoulders are staying on the ground. Breathe into it. And then we bring the head back to neutral if it was turned, release that extra stretch if we were doing it. Let's bring both knees back up to the center. One more time, let's draw the knees into the chest. This time we're gonna take a really deep breath deep enough that our belly pushes the thighs away. Exhale, draw those knees toward the chest, really push all the air back out of the lungs. And then slowly release your feet down to the edges of the mat. Let your knees fall together and your arms wherever they feel comfortable alongside your body. Adjust your clothes if they feel wonky. As we start to move into our Shavasana, can always stay right here in restorative pose. Sometimes this feels more comfortable for our lower backs, or you can start to stretch the legs out, bringing your feet toward the edges of the mat. Maybe closing the eyes if that feels good. We start to tune into our breath. Breathing in from the base of the spine. Feel that inward breath go all the way up your spine to the very top of your head. And as you exhale, feel that breath come down the forehead, the face, the throat, across the chest, back down to the hips. And just continue that cycle up the spine when you breathe in down the front of the body as you breathe out. We start to let the arms and legs feel heavy on the floor. There's no resistance against the floor. We continue that breath up the spine, down the front.
You can stay here in your Shavasana for as long as you would like. And then whenever you feel ready, start to make your way to a seated position. Maybe rolling onto your side. And pressing up. And lengthen out through the spine still. Letting the chin drop to the chest. Left ear to left shoulder. Chin to the chest. Right ear to right shoulder. Chin coming to the chest. The eyes are closed. Start to blink them open. Let's take a deep breath together. Out and up. Exhale. Hands coming to heart center. May you have peace in your thoughts, kindness in your words, and hope in your hearts, from my heart to yours. Namaste. If you enjoyed this practice, please be sure to comment, like, share, subscribe, so that I can continue to bring you fun classes like this.